Hello, I'm Tim Danton from Dennis Technology and I'm here with Wayne Mayer from Microsoft to talk about the thorny topic of Windows Server 2012 against 2003. And I'll open by asking you, Wayne, why should anyone stick with 2003? Well, 2003 uh, was a great product for the time that it was built. Uh, we, are, we are 10 years on, uh, we're in 2013 and uh, we have got a bunch of new technologies that have come through which are actually more suitable for the type of work that we deliver and we need to do in today's world. And as we think about the development enhancements around compute storage networking, when we think about the requirements from users in terms of mobility, and we look, think about uh, the security requirements for, for customers, all of this is playing to what we've built into Server, server 20, uh, 2012. So things like mobiles, for example, would I struggle to manage those with 2003? Well, absolutely. So in the, in the days of 2003, we didn't really have the pervasiveness, pervasiveness of devices across, uh, across all users. So we had laptops and we had, uh, um, we had desktops and, and we had some, some smartphones, but definitely not to the level and to, to the degree that we, have, that we have today. And so there wasn't really a need to actually uh, manage these multiple devices. Whereas in today's world, most people have you know, a tablet, they have a smartphone, and then they have a PC which they use at the office, and we need to be able to manage all of these devices in, in some way or form. Mm. And what about support? Is that still there for 2003, and how much longer is it going to be there for? Absolutely. So the end of support date for Server 2003 is uh, June 2015. Uh, we have a really rich support lifecycle for, for all our products. In fact, if you go to Microsoft.com and you just do a search on support lifecycle, you can see by product type when they're actually coming up for the end of support. Okay, but what are the real benefits to me as a business? What can I do with 2012 that I can't do with 2003? Well, the list is endless, and I think we've got a, a, a three-minute video clip. Um, but when we think about the highlights of this, it is really around virtualization, virtualization of compute storage networking. You may have seen, uh, the audience may have seen some of the videos already recorded there. We think about what, we've, what we're doing around mobility and being able to support clients connecting in with things like direct access. We think about identity and access management and building personalized services and so rich VDI and, and uh, remote desktop service solutions for customers. Um, and then we think about how we can really optimize and rationalize some of the infrastructure that we have today on server, on server 2012. It is a rich platform that customers can go ahead and actually use as a platform and a stepping stone to get into other cloud services as well. Okay, Wayne, thank you very much for your time. Uh, as Wayne referred to, there are a lot of resources about this uh, on this website and on many other websites. And at the end of this video, we're going to show a few of those on the slide.